Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajin. And today's scripture comes from Proverbs chapter 28, verses 13 and 14, and it reads as follows. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that fears always, but he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. Confess and forsake your sin. Here in this passage of scripture, it starts off with this. He that covers his sins shall not prosper. So if you're looking to be prosperous in your life, the first thing that you have to do is not cover up your sin. You notice I didn't say strategize, invest, find out more about what you have to do, you know, with your bank accounts. There is nothing wrong with any of that. And I am a firm believer that we must become knowledgeable about all of those things. But if we are living a lifestyle of sin, no amount of money, finances, riches, houses, land is going to be obtained, maintained, and sustained if we are living a life of sin. That's just the way it is. Because if we are living a sinful lifestyle, we are going to be exposed. And anything that we have obtained we're going to lose it because people who don't live a life of integrity and a life that lines up with the word of Yah, eventually they're going to lose everything that they have. And you might be thinking, well, I see a lot of people who are crooked and sinful and wrong and they are rich. They are billionaires. Oh, guess what? Their time is coming. The wages of sin is death. Payment is coming. Payday is coming. You know, just keep on living. And we've already seen many people who were doing things that they shouldn't have been doing that was sinful and that was wrong, and they have already faced judgment. They are no longer here on this earth. And we have got to be aware and cognizant of the fact that we cannot cover up our sin. If we want to grow and develop and prosper in our relationship with the Most High Yah and even with other people, we can't live a lifestyle of sin. We can't cover it up. We can't deceive ourselves and think that Oh, if we do this over here in the booth, in the back, in the corner, in the dark, that nobody is ever going to find out. I'm telling you from experience because I used to have that mentality. I was doing things that was against the word of Yah, against everything that I knew to be right from scripture, and I was doing it. And I was rationalizing and I was covering my sin up and I was telling myself that nobody was ever going to find out. And that couldn't have been further from the truth. People found out. My life was crumbling all around me and everything was falling apart. I was not prospering because I was covering up my sin. It wasn't until I humbled myself before the Most High Yah and admitted that how I was living was a sin against him and his word. And I confessed that and I turned away from it and I forsaked it. Then he was able to extend mercy to me. But if I didn't do that, I don't know where I would be right now. I, I could very well not be on this earth. And that's how seriously I take it. And 
We have to be that way, everybody. I'm not speaking from some theoretical, you know, aspect or perspective. I'm saying this because I've gone through it. And it's not easy to sit around, you know, hiding everything that you're doing. If you're slip dipping and tripping and, you know, over here in the booth in the back in the corner in the dark, you know, and that's a hard life to live. Hoping and praying and wishing that people don't find out what you're doing. Let me tell you something. You are never going to go any further than what you are right now. Confess and forsake your sin and then the Most High Yah will be able to extend his mercy and his unmerited favor towards you. Notice I said unmerited because none of us deserve it. If you got it in your head, you deserve it. Guess what? You already in the wrong mindset. Okay. And it goes on to say, happy is the man that fears always. Do you have a reverential fear of the Most High Yah that governs how you think, what you say out of your mouth, and what you do? Because if you actually fear Yah, you are not going to go out here and live any kind of way. You're just not going to do it. Okay? Because you are are living your life in such a way that you want to do what is pleasing in his sight. You don't want to offend the Most High Yah. You don't want to go against what his commandments say. Because in scripture, it says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Okay? So, we want to make sure that we are fearing him always because when we do, when we live our lives in obedience to him, then the Most High Yah can bring levels of happiness and joy into our lives. Okay? But it goes on to say, but he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. So if we have hard heads and stiff necks where we're stubborn and we're going to do whatever we think is right in our own eyes, guess what? We're going to fall into mischief and we're going to find ourselves in sin and not prospering, but going backwards, finding ourselves in a backslidden, backslidden state, you know, in the quicksand of sin, sinking fast. And if anybody knows anything about quicksand, if somebody doesn't pull you out of it quick enough, you can die in it. And that's how sin is. It's like quicksand and it sucks you in and you can be up to here in sin. So you have got to make sure that you humble yourself. Don't be prideful. Don't have a stiff neck and a hard head. Okay, renew your mind with the word of Yah and start making the spiritual and natural adjustments that you need to make. Don't cover up your sin. Okay, there is nothing that you are doing behind closed doors that is going to remain hidden. It might seem like it's hidden right now, but all that is happening is that the Most High Yah is extending his mercy even in the fact that you haven't been exposed yet, okay? And he's trying to give you an opportunity to get it right. He's trying to give you an opportunity to confess and forsake your sin. He has given me opportunities to confess and forsake my sin, okay? If you're here, and you're watching this video right now. That is all that is happening right now. He's trying to give you an opportunity to say, I'm sorry. 
I admit that what I have been doing and what I've been saying and what I've been looking at and who I've been hanging with and the activities that I've been participating in is simple, is wrong. It is against you and your commandments. Please forgive me. What do I need to do to get this right with you, Abba Yah? That's the attitude that we have to take. Because if we don't, we're going to fall into mischief. We are not going to prosper. And remember, everybody, the wages of sin is death. Okay? So we have got to realize that we've got to get ourselves together. We've got to get it right. We've got to get things straight. Okay? We've got to look at what is our aim. And what do I mean by aim? Aim means this, your attitude, your intentions, and your motives. When you get ready to do something, what is your attitude behind what you're getting ready to do? Do you have an attitude that lines up with the word of Yah concerning what you're getting ready to do? Or do you have a sinful attitude? Do you have a sinful intention? Or do you have a Yah-centered intention behind what you're thinking, behind what you're doing, behind what you're saying? And what is your motive? Is your, do you have an evil motive behind what you're get ready, getting ready to do? Or is your motive behind what you're getting ready to do or what you're thinking or what you're saying, Yah-centered, based on scripture? You've got to ask yourself that question. I have to ask myself that question because that is going to determine how you're living your life. Is your aim crooked? Is your attitude and your intention and your motives crooked? Okay, because if they are, you've got to straighten up your aim. You've got to get your aim lined up with the word and the commandments and the Torah of the Most High Yah. Now is the time for you to do that. If you're alive and you're breathing, you still have an opportunity. You still have a chance today. OK, if you don't have a relationship at all with the Most High Yah and you came across my channel and you came across this video, it is not by happenstance. It is not a coincidence. It is the Most High Yah trying to get your attention. Stop and listen to what he is trying to say to you today. Confess and forsake your sin. Stop trying to cover it up. Fear the Most High Yah. Do not have a hard heart or a stiff neck. Humble yourself in the eyesight of Yahuwah. Ask Him to forgive you for your sins. Ask him to come into your heart, into your life. Ask Yahushua HaMashiach to come into your heart and into your life. And then turn away from a lifestyle of sin and wickedness and iniquity. Be genuine. Be sincere. Turn away from a life of hypocrisy and duplicity. And move forward in a relationship with the Most High Yah. Not a watered down relationship with him, but an unadulterated, genuine, sincere relationship with the Most High Yah. If you're in a backslidden state, rededicate your relationship, your life to the Most High Yah. Now is the time to get it right, y'all. These are the last days. Do not take this time that we have together today, that we can examine ourselves to make sure that our relationship is tight and right 
with Yahuwah. Think about that today. Examine yourself. I have to continue to examine myself and do what you need to do to stop covering up sin, confess and forsake your sin, okay? And fear Yahuwah. Don't have a hard head and a stiff neck. Humble yourself before him and make the spiritual as well as the natural adjustments that you need to make to live a lifestyle that is pleasing in the eyesight of the Most High Yah. As you go throughout this day, continue to give the Most High Yah the highest esteem. Hold him in high esteem today. Love him, praise him, worship him, bless his set apart name. Spend quality time with the Most High Yah today, everyone. Spend some time just meditating on his word, seek his face, listen to his voice, hear his voice in his counsel above all others. Give him the hallelujah praise today. Have a blessed day. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>